You better. She's going. She's going. Why did you? <laughs> you are. Did, did you. Have that right there? You are a horrible pig wrangler. Hey, what's up guys? Tobin and Shannon here from 5M Family Homestead. Uh, today we're going to show you guys how we're going to make our chicken tractor uh, on the cheap. We, uh, we've got some reclaimed, reclaimed material, uh, some stuff we bought on clearance, uh, some stuff we picked up on just stuff we had left over from various projects we picked up from construction sites, all kinds of stuff. So how many birds did you order? 25. 25 birds so we're gonna make it about five by six uh, four by six somewhere in there uh, uh, from what we've read and heard that should be plenty of room so uh, Shannon ordered the chicks uh, this week so tell them when they're gonna be here so we ordered them I think Tuesday or Wednesday of yeah. this week and it's the so it's the week of today's August 22nd so we ordered them on Tuesday or Wednesday from Cackle Hat Hatchery out of Missouri yep. I believe um, well, what's M.O.? Montana? Missouri? Whatever M.O. is, that is where I ordered them from. That's great. I'm homeschooling our kids and I don't even know geography real well. Anyways, we ordered them from there and their ship time to receive, for us to receive it was four to five weeks. So no. I did some research and I looked around to try to find other hatcheries in Texas that were closer, um, Oklahoma that were closer, and I will tell you this, if you plan on doing meat chickens for the fall, y'all need to get your orders in now because most places weren't even giving dates. A lot of them were four weeks out. Ours will be delivered here uh, the week of September the 16th. So for us, that's like five weeks away yeah. and from order to receive Yeah, five weeks from that. And then if if you you know if you think you know eight to ten weeks before we harvest them, that's putting us into the, towards the end like Thanksgiving time frame you know give or take. So much you know much more past that, and you're gonna be look, we you're gonna be looking at you know frost and, and freezing nights and having to worry about keeping them warm at night and stuff. So uh, so you know I think I feel like we got in just in time, but much longer it'd have been you know it, it might have been more difficult. So. Well, and then that we happened to have popped in a couple weeks ago to tractor supply and they had the Cornish cross hens but we weren't ready to get them yeah. and if you know tractor supply the way that they work they just receive chicks at any given day so you yeah. never really know when they're going to be in stock and so, they don't know what they're getting right yeah, Smith so. Family Ranch uh, suggested to us the cackle hatchery and so we went there uh, they seem to have good reviews um, Jeff, I don't always trust him from Smith Family, so we did our own He's research. a little shady, but... Uh, no, <laughs> but anyways, they're, they're we, got them ordered. we got them ordered, and they should be here, and so we've yep. got to get busy getting everything ready so when they're here, we don't have anything to do. Yep. If you watch one of our, uh, our, our, one of our last videos, we bought a rabbit hutch from our neighbor, which is going to serve as our brooder. Um, it, it's plenty warm enough now that they're going to be fine in there. So we got that moved in and in place. So we're, they're going to go into that first for two or three weeks, and then they'll go into this tractor that we're going to build. So uh, let's get into it. We'll uh, turn the camera right here and show you some of the reclaimed wood that we got and uh, all the other stuff we got. The only thing we don't have is the actual, there's Easton. <laughs> uh, we have not bought the, I need to get buy like the hinges and the hardware for it. And then I need to buy um, either the tin or the plastic, corrugated plastic for, uh, to go over the top and the sides to block the wind and rain and, and sun and stuff. So I will say this: in the Mathis house, everything is done cheap. Majority of what we build is from recycled material, yeah. other than like our deck for the pool. Yes. Uh, the chicken coop was recycled oh, okay. material. The chicken tractor is about to be recycled material. Yeah. Uh, the pig pen, anything down in there, recycled material. Yeah. So our suggestion is. Use what you got. Yeah, and a lot of times just th that requires a little bit more patience, which I'm not good at. Um, but you know, it's also um, I text Shannon one day. What was it? What, what did I go buy? Oh, I bought a I bought a sprinkler for the garden. Just yeah. simply Because another thing we like to do is simplify things. Well, our the every sprinkler we've ever had, we've had to fight it. So I went down and bought a forty dollars sprinkler sprinkler, and it was painful sliding my debit card in to pay for that. Um, <laughs> but it helps. Uh, another thing we bought this week was a 
a gravity uh, automatic feeder for the yes. pig, which we went to our local feed store and it was 130 bucks and that was painful to pay. Uh, but things like that, we don't mind you know paying for because we're gonna get our money's worth out of it in the long run. But like, she, like Shannon was saying, a lot of things, if we can get away with it, we don't mind holding off and, and uh, collecting materials and getting it cheap or free and, and, and doing it a little cheaper. I know we're kind of running away with this, but that <laughs> one other suggestion I wanted to say, and I did not know this, when I went to pick our feeder up from the feed store, he offered to sell us out of date show, show pig feed. feed that is no longer fresh because it is um, out of date. Out of date. Yeah. Uh, it's still, majority of it is good, um, but if you know pigs, they'll eat just about anything. So yeah. he sold me um, a 50 pound bag of show pig feed for $5. Which is probably, you know, what, a quarter? or a third of what it would normally cost. I mean, it costs between 15 and $20 a bag. Right. So, and it had more protein in it yeah. too. But he said so. the show pig families are very picky and so they won't buy it if it's out of date. So right. ask your local feed store. That's a way to save money too. Yeah, for sure. So we're they had a pallet of it back there. So <laughs> we are going to- for pizza too. <laughs> Ethan's getting his lunch ready. Uh, so, but anyway guys, let's turn the camera around. Let's get into this and we'll show y'all what we're doing. Okay. Look at our there's our vicious guard dog. You all right over there? Hard life. So, as you can see on some of this wood, like this wood right here, um, I work in a, uh, a lot of construction areas. Um, you know, you always want to talk to the superintendent or the people there working before you get the wood, uh, but I was allowed to get this wood. Uh, I pulled all the nails out of it, um, and over here I got a piece I've been pulling out. Uh, you can see there's all nails that I pulled out. When I was a kid with my grandfather, uh, not only would we pull the nails out, we would straighten them and reuse them again. I'm not going to go that far, um, but it was very common to straighten these out and put them back in a coffee can and save them for another day. So then we bought uh, this poultry netting at it's a 25 foot by three foot i got that at walmart on clearance back in the garden section and i paid seven dollars seven dollars for it which is about a third of what it normally costs half to a third of what it normally costs um so i'm hoping we have enough i, I haven't really you know, like done the calculations but i'm thinking we have enough materials here to frame up the entire uh, uh chicken tractor and then put the the netting on there. I've got some uh, extra one by fours up here too that we've just saved from various projects. I got them in my little holder up there and we will uh, use those if we need to. So let's get started.
at the stopping point with the chicken tractor. We've got basically the entire frame done. So this is it. It's uh, seven feet by four feet. We're gonna probably um, cover, you know, one third of the end with that corrugated plastic, so they can get shade and get out of the rain if it rains. Probably the other third, roughly, will be a door that will open on the top where we can access and get, uh, you know, put their feed and water in there. And then um, the rest of it, we're gonna cover in chicken wire. Um, so this is it. So if you guys are new to our channel, you may not know this, but we own a seasonal taxidermy business. Uh, we do European mounts. Uh, last season we did about 300 and we're starting to gear up for this season. Uh, so today, one of Reed's uh, projects that we gave him, which we, uh, we paid him for, uh, a lot of stuff that our kids do around here they don't get paid for, but he got paid for this was to, uh, we have a spot behind the shop here where we do our power washing and bowling of the deer heads and we're wanting to make it wider. So Reed uh, stacked all those pavers right there and then went and got our little tiller that we use in the garden and uh, tilled all this up. It was already about half this size and a lot of the pavers were kind of moving, uh, not very stable. Uh, so we, we're gonna make it wider. We're actually gonna put a drain in and a pipe where it drains out. We can pour stuff and it drains out to the ditch out there. And uh, when we, we're gonna put those pavers back down and uh, probably add, we're gonna have to add, definitely add some to it. And then we're gonna uh, put mortar between them, uh, hopefully to prevent having to uh, buy or, or do concrete. Um, and that'll be a little bit more permanent. The problem with, uh, with the way we had it before with having just the pavers still on the ground was when we would power wash a deer head, um, it would also power wash between the pavers and kind of a road underneath them and they would start moving. So we're hoping we can uh, mortar between them and that'll help. So, but if, uh, if y'all are new, y'all may not know we do that, but uh, as, uh, as we get closer and closer to deer season, you're gonna probably see a lot more stuff related to that. Uh, we're gonna try to kind of uh, include that in. That's definitely a way that we, um, uh, not I wouldn't say supplement income, but that's an extra income that we have here on our homestead that, um, uh, that definitely helps us out with uh, expenses of having three kids and um, things like that. So y'all be on the lookout for more videos uh, related to that. Guys, here is our new Gravity Automatic Hog Feeder. We ordered this from our local feed store. And like Shannon was saying in the beginning of the video while she was there, she was uh, telling them what we're doing, just feeding out a pig for meat. And they had mentioned they had some uh, this Showtech feed it's a, it's a show feed, and they had a pallet of it that had uh, expired, and they would sell us bags of it for about, I think Shannon paid $5 per bag for this, and I know that it's gotta be you know three times that much, if not more. Uh, so uh, one of the bags looks like, it, looks like it has a little, uh, where a mouse had chewed on it, and maybe it's kinda stale on the bottom, but we'll see when we get it, uh, get it down there. So let me go get the full wheeler and load this stuff up on there, and we'll take it down to the pig pen. one of those feeds are not gonna be good enough but we're gonna open it and see we'll only be out five dollars yeah. I think I think both would be fine. you think so That water bowl up at the top we just got it out of our camper we're gonna chickens seem to hang out by the pigs so we thought we'd put a water bowl down there for them so guys I, we don't know much about this feeder uh, this is the only one we could get from our feed store we couldn't find one anywhere else we're looking for new ones uh, so it did come put together. 
the one on Amazon was about $30 less, $40 less, when you had to put it together yourself. And it didn't have very good reviews. So it's a Miller Manufacturing. So we'll open it up and see what it looks like. What's that kid's channel that opens toys? Ryan's Toys Network or something. It's kind of like that. Yeah, so maybe, just maybe this will make us a bazillionaire just opening a pig feeder box. Ryan's World. That's what it's called. So this is Tobin and Shanna's World. So far it looks real... Yeah, very sturdy. Much more so than the one on Amazon. That's nice. And what y'all don't know is in Tobin's world, when things come and put together and he doesn't have to do anything, he's much happier. Makes me happy. Pig. <laughs> the guys, we used to let the pig out and just let it let her run around the yard, but she's gotten so big now, we're scared that she's going to tear something up. So what we've been doing is we just let her out from here and then we kind of push her around this way and then right in the chicken coop. So, but she always wants to break free. So we've kind of built the great wall of 5M <laughs> out of lawnmowers and four wheelers and trailers to help her push her around in here. So let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. Look at that chicken's attacking the pig. <laughs> better. She's going, she's going. Why did you <laughs> You are didn't you, that right there. you are a horrible pig wrangler. <laughs> you are the one that put all that together. Skylar, come here. Skylar. Skylar. Come on. <laughs> You were like the engineer behind the great wall and you did a terrible job. Well, you were supposed to fill in the cracks. So as y'all saw in the time lapse, we were doing this. And after how long were you? Oh, yeah. please! That's good. Um, wait, open it. <laughs> Open it. That's all. That's all everything in there. And then the pig will put its nose right under here and lift it up. And that will be all the feed. Okay. Me. All right, guys. It's time for the moment of truth. This is uh, the five-dollar bag of feed. Come here. Look at all that goodness right there. It fit all that. Ah, so as she eats it, it eats it down. Gravity. Look at that right there. See all that? That's good. Well, so, because last time Tobin did a terrible job of building a wall, we have since employed two other kiddos to help yeah, us no, no. come on pig no come on pig She's eating that feed. Hey, the. She's about to try to break. I can feel it. That was easy. Let's see how long it takes me to notice it. Y'all keep. 
and she finished. She did. Did you see her? She like tried to pop it up. Hey, hey. Give her a second. Yeah, I wonder if it should be lifted up so she can know what's in there. Big! Success. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave us a comment. Hit that thumbs up. That really helps with our algorithm. And uh, what do you got to tell them? Nothing. Glad to have a feeder. Yep. Hopefully this will continue to simplify things because if one thing is that has not been simple so far is this pig. So yes. And y'all make sure y'all watch and turn on your notification bell so you can watch part two of our chicken tractor. Yep. Videos. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.